Hey guys, it's Maria Barona here with the SAE Institute. Today we're going to talk about mixed window, edit window, and transfer controls. Hey guys, so we're going to talk uh, about uh, the main windows in Pro Tools. We have the mixed window, we have uh, the edit window, and we have the transport window. So the window that I have open right here, it's called the mix window. You're going to identify it because it's labeled like that. It'll resemble, um, for many of you guys, to an analog console. Because, well, you can find that it, it's got faders, you've got the solo and mute buttons, you've got the record enable button, which we can record right now because we don't have any inputs assigned. Um, by the way, this is the I.O. Um, section where we can assign inputs when we want to record and we can also assi assign the outputs as we want to play some music right here. Um, up here we've got the inserts from A to E and then the inserts from F to J. This is where we're going to throw in our plugins. And this is the sense area, A to E and then F to J. Basically here is where we're going to put the buses and uh, send signal so we can process it later. So in this window we also have uh, our meters as we push the play button with the space bar. Um, you can see they light up right there indicating us the level of our audio signal. When we push command equal it brings us to the edit window on the edit window, it's actually completely different because we've got what we call a timeline view, meaning that all the audios that we've got recorded onto our Pro Tools session are mapped out to a specific timeline. So in this case, um, you can also have a lot of the controls that you see on the edit window, like mute, solo, input record, and your record button but they're going to be laid out differently per track. So at the top part of our Pro Tools session, we have our edit modes, um, shuffle, slip, spot, and grid, and combinations of them together. You can shuffle through them by using uh, F1, F2, F3, and F4 on your keyboard. That's pretty straightforward. Or if you push, for example, F2 and F4, you're going to get both of them together. Uh, basically, what they'll do is that they'll help you figure out how your cursor is going to interact with the clip that is recorded. Um, then over here, you have your cursor mode. Uh, with this, uh, you can get some zoom in here, zoom in at your audios. You can also do trim mode where you're going to basically trim the audio that's already been recorded or recover portions of it. Uh, you can have your selector tool that lets you highlight whatever you want to do. Or you can have your grabber tool that lets you slide and move things around. The central section over here, it's our main counter. It shows us where our playhead is located at. We have uh, bars and beats, but we can also change it to minutes and seconds, time code, samples, and we can also display a sub counter in case we want to have some sort of combination between the both. So in, in this case, we've got minutes and seconds, we, which we can also see on the timeline. We have our sub counter in bars and beats. So we have two of those measurements over there, which will be very useful for when we're recording. Um, right here, uh, we have our uh, stop, play, record buttons. So basically, I can just go ahead and push if I want to play audio, stop if I want to stop audio, or record, in which case I would have to enable a track and get to record. Now, all of these uh, controls, I can also access them by going into the transport window. By pushing Command 1, I enter the transport window, and this is just a more detailed view of what we already have in here in case you want to have a separated uh, control or you're using separate screens and you want to take a look into that and this command one with the numeric pad one will provide you with the transport window or you will be able to open it up here in window transport 
So you also get access to your stop and play mode right here. You can see the play mode. It's got like a little arrow. That is because it's playing on a loop. Um, if you want to make that inactive, you just push control and it'll go just to straight play normal mode. Push again one more time and it'll go to loop. If you want to change uh, your record parameters of your record enable button, you just push control again and then you click and then control D or control loop record or you actually can go control and then uh, record P which is your punch record. This is very useful for when you want to do multiple takes and you're recording multiple takes. You just push this and it'll let, let you record on top of what you have already recorded while you're playing some music. So these are the basic functions that you will find on the edit and the uh, transport control. If Remember, your key command in here is command equal, which will let you move between the mix mode, the mix window and the edit window. Hey guys, this is Maria again. Thank you so much for watching the video about edit window, mix window and transport controls. If you want to watch more videos like this, log into usa.sae.edu.